And honestly, what a rogue and unexpected end to the year. We got a fresh kid. Get out of my house. Take your violins and go. Hello from the void, it's Rose. Welcome back to my channel and my not so berry challenge. Now, yes, it should be Poison Garden this week, but I was watching back the footage for Not So Very, trying to figure out what I did last summer, and I did something totally insane. Um, and I basically just wanted to have that have happened for all of us, because at the moment, it's completely changing how I need to play this generation. And without wanting to give too much away, I have no idea why I did it. So uh, let's go play Sims. It's the evening and what is a girl to do when her life is slightly falling apart except call her sister and make dinner together and try and figure out what to do next. So we have got our twin sister Petra over to talk through the ramifications of what happens from starting a romance and then kind of tanking a romance with both of our close friends. And also to catch up with her. Oh, what? I asked her what her job was and apparently she's still a high school student. Oh my god, she glitched. Petra is still a teen. She's meant to be our twin and she's missed 17 days of her adult life. Oh my god, babe, I'm so sorry. Um, Let's quickly age Petra up. Dove has, had se uh, has 17 days left, so I think when we get into Master Controller there's going to be a number. Yeah, okay, so age span. 28 minus 17. 11? And we're just gonna quickly give her another trait to try and make up for things so she can get on with her life. Um, I feel like maybe art lover? Yeah, I can see Petra doing painting. Also, Rock has become a teenager and this is his hair. And honestly, I kind of love this for him. We're gonna leave him there, but maybe just give him some more chilled clothes. Like, I can see him being kind of like surfer brogue vibes. So anyway, back to the issue at hand, which is Dove's chaotic romantic life sorry large family we don't have time to think about you right now we are kind of focused on our own little family oh my goodness fig is just on our doorstep playing guitar um i don't think i want that to happen just now because we have to have three failed relationships and we already got you babes um i think we can though count both fear and amethyst as definitely failed at least in the in the short term um neither of those were very successful attempts to turn them into something more serious and i think dove is now definitely going to be thinking okay what do i actually want i want to be financially secure guys where are you going oh cool just eat out in the snow with paisley okay fine i feel like a big motivator for dove moving to windenburg was to do something completely different to what her family was and prove she could do it on her own and she has but that doesn't mean it's not been really difficult and I think maybe now she's starting to recognize that some of what she had, like the big support system, you know, other kids for her kid to play with is something that maybe she would like to have and that her life at the moment isn't really set up to make that possible, which was really brought home by her sharing with her romantic partners what she was looking for and them both saying, that's not what I want, that's not the life I see for us. So we are in an apartment we can't really afford on our salary. We have two situationships that aren't really giving us what we need romantically and our kid could really use some more structure. So we have got dad over, someone who we can now maybe recognize was actually pretty damn good at being a partner and always was a good dad. So maybe we're ready to listen to some advice now that we've tried doing it our own way and found that maybe there isn't a right or wrong way to do things. Anyway, this is the point at which I, for some reason, lost my damn mind. I have no idea why I invited Amethyst over. I think maybe I originally invited her to apologize and then I shut my game down and didn't play for several weeks. And then I reloaded and for some reason, instead of the ask to just be friends version, I decided to click the ask to have science baby option which is fine because Amethyst said no and that should have been the end of it. But then I got to thinking, well, she said she didn't wanna like be a family with us, but what if we just ask for her DNA? Because, you know, Dove really wants Paisley to have a sibling. It doesn't necessarily need to be a romantic thing. It could just be a friendly thing. Fia was definitely more emotionally invested. Amethyst maybe would be capable of just donating DNA. And so I asked again, and I was kind of expecting her to say no, and that to be the end of it. But she said yes, and then started playing the violin, and then Dove, Dove just went right then. Now, I have never played this option before, and I assumed it would be like an insemination situation. I was fully expecting that we were going to go and get pregnant, and we would have like three days to deal with the fallout. I did not read that pop-up properly. So I then got a newborn. I went from not having any children or real plans of how I was gonna get a child to having 
a newborn and I didn't have a name picked out. I didn't know this was going to happen. For storytelling purposes, I was gonna have three days. I was like, let's do something crazy. But it was really crazy because now we have two children and that is not really what I wanted. Anyway, I could have quit without saving, but you know me, we love a little chaos. So everybody meet baby seven. We're sticking with the Prince theme, by the way. And now I just have to figure out how, for storytelling purposes, I make peace with what I've done because not planned, very, very not planned. We don't even have space for a second child in this apartment and now I have to figure it out. And Dove is exhausted, I'm exhausted. Honestly, what was I thinking? Um, one thing I do definitely want to do, we might just pretend like we did have a sort of cool down period between the asking and the arrival of Seven. So I do want to just ask Amethyst to just be friends. I think this is definitely a, not even a co-parenting situation, very much a DNA donor situation. So I want to simplify that as quickly as possible. Paisley is just screaming about potty training at Max. So they're gonna go do some of that, which is fantastic news. Um, Dove, meanwhile, is just making sure the fresh baby is okay. And then we are going to come on out and ask to just be friends with Amethyst and then maybe watch the New Year's countdown. Uh, I'm not really sure why she tried to flirt with her, but that went poorly, which is probably for the best because, you know, we are we are calling time on this. Can you please do the interaction I asked to? I really want to tidy this up, have them just be friends, then maybe we can watch the New Year's countdown to get some of those holiday traditions done. And that has gone successfully. It doesn't look like there's any negative sentiments from calling off the romantic part of their relationship, which is great. So now we can just be friendly again and uh, deal with what the fact that we have a child together means. I mean, we don't have anything to do with our other baby parents, so, you know, doesn't necessarily have to mean anything, but we're gonna do some shishubis. Uh, Paisley's gonna pass the new year on the toilet. And honestly, what a rogue and unexpected end to the year. We got a fresh kid, cool. I think maybe we can slightly blame this on Mac. And hear me out on this, because Mac probably would have said to Dove, if what you want is a family, that can be whatever you want it to be. Because if you remember, Mac actually adopted his half-brother. So maybe he was like, families can be non-traditional. And Dove was like, you're right, I can have a science baby. And Mac would be like, wait, what? No, that's not really what I meant, but too late. Dove is definitely kind of impulsive. So yeah, that's kind of maybe how we're gonna justify it to ourselves. Seven is actually crying for the first time, which has woken everyone up because we all sleep in the same bedroom. So this seems like a good opportunity to talk to Paisley about the fact that she is now an older sibling. And then we will try and get the baby to shut up so we can get some sleep, so we can go to work, so we can make some money. Because <laughs> we do have a slightly better budget right now. We're like up to 2000 because I sold that camera in the last episode, but I think it's still gonna be really tight. The good news about having a newborn is it is driving our parenting skill up, which was the one of the reasons we wanted to have another kid. I think I only really want Dove to have the two kids in this generation. I don't see her having like a massive family. But we do now have a clear run at finding her a neat sim to become her spouse because I think if we, well, I mean, technically our relationship with Fia hasn't failed yet, but it might fall apart pretty quickly when we're like, yeah, we panic had a child with Amethyst. If we count that as our three failed relationships she has to have, then we are into spring and into the era of finding our one true love, AKA our future spouse, which is pretty exciting. I do actually have that sim made. Um, okay, we're at work. We've got to go do our lunch break. We got a small performance game. We're in the gold check zone. I foresee a promotion in our future, yes. Oh my God, so much happening, fig. By all means, go on a date with someone else. We haven't seen you in years. We we want the best for you. But we have been promoted to a professional bodybuilder. We make a little bit better money, like 57 bucks an hour. We got a small bonus. We got some clothes. We got a, oh, a weight machine. That's fun. We could, I mean, I was gonna say we could put that in our house where there's no space. I guess it could go outside. And we do have work again tomorrow. So that is also good news because sometimes you get promoted and then you have like two days off work, which with bills due would not be ideal. So for the first time in a while, we're in an okay financial situation. We do have a child, an unplanned child. What the hell was I thinking? This really hasn't settled in yet. And I decided to have the whole family over to meet our new sibling. Annoyingly, I can't actually add all seven members of the family to the club. We've got to earn points. So we're gonna to have to invite Edie over separately because we haven't seen her in 
ages but I'm being a little bit cheeky and I have set the club activities to obviously being friendly but also to clean so little uh, teenage brother Rock has very kindly decided to clean up our janky toilet and honestly we are grateful. This is also going to be our weekly karaoke night. Um, in the Grey Generation rules we're meant to have a family movie night every Sunday but Dove needing to max singing and having always been into karaoke I have switched it to a karaoke night so shortly we will be treated to some of the horror that is Sims attempting to sing. But right now I'm just trying to get Grandma Edie to come over. Please, please come over. We would love to see you and also add you to the family group if you would help us with our activities. But for now, I give you Dove and Io singing some monstrous song whilst Petra kindly helps Paisley with the potty and oh, what's happened? Where, where's everyone suddenly got a guitar from? We are not the Von Trapp family, enough of that. Only piped music, thank you, good lord. I'm kind of hoping this evening will serve as a reminder to Dove that she does actually have a massive supportive family. Just because she hasn't found the love of her life yet and sort of done everything in the marriage baby's order doesn't mean it won't happen, number one. And number two, she doesn't have to keep just like doing it on her own. She's definitely, I think, tried to carve her own path a little bit you know, knee jerk moving away when she found out she was pregnant the first time and then freaking out when neither of her relationships were gonna go the way she wanted and deciding to do it on her own again with science, which was definitely Dove's fault and not me having a meltdown. Yep, that happened. But the truth is wherever she is in the world, whatever she's up to, she has this whole crazy crew behind her including Edie who finally showed up and is hanging out with Paisley who's pretty tired outside. I do actually really need to put Paisley to bed now she's had some time with grandma which is cute to see. I'm also really regretting setting singing as a group activity. It was meant to be to help Dove with her skills but everyone's just wandering around the house singing and they are not gifted. Dove has got to the point now where she's I think level four or five and her voice is actually okay to hear. The rest of the Spectral clan who are just showering away merrily, um, not so much, not so much. They are horrible singers. Oh look, Mac and Edie are flirting in the bathroom. How on brand for them. Anyway, I'm really torn between ending this uh, gathering right now and having it continue because I'm trying to get 250 points so that I can officially add Edie to the club, um, which we are going to try and get to by having her and Dove sing a little duet. But I also really would like to put Dove to bed because she's pretty tired, it's 10 p.m. and I think she starts work at about 7 a.m. But first we have to sit through this ballad whilst Mac just sings to himself in the shower. Oh, is that why people keep showering? Is it so they can sing in the shower? Oh, wow. Forward winding through the singing makes it so much worse. It's like how Sims would sing, but also if they were chihuahuas. Rock really is MVP here with the cleanup, and oh my god, it's Seven's birthday. Oh, that makes sense, we had him yesterday night. So yeah, okay, it is an impromptu birthday party, I'm guessing. We're just gonna feed him so he has the best chance of becoming a normal infant. I don't think they can get like a bad trait from being an object baby, but yeah, we are just gonna leave our family singing and doing hip jump bumps in the background whilst we Age up are uh, definitely planned for and in no way regretted science baby. Paisley's just sleeping through all of this. I wish I could sleep through this, it's honestly a cacophony. Are we gonna do this, Sav? Okay, baby Sav is aged up into an infant and his randomized trait is Sunny. Oh, thank God. That's gonna make my life easier. And this is what his natural genetics, so he actually inherited both Dove's hair and eyes. I don't know if he will be the heir, I'm leaning towards Paisley at the moment, but I am just going to give him the plum hair just in case. Um, I actually really like the light grey eyes though, so I'm going to leave him with that and then quickly go, I need to go over to Amethyst genetics and see what um, skin details he needs. Um, and then quickly give him some outfits. I don't know why I gave him formal wear. We will not be throwing any formal parties. And remembering that Dove is a slob and not really particularly fashion interested, we've kept it pretty simple, just sort of things that you could throw on that you might actually put a child in if you were sensible rather than a stylish baby. And with that, I'm probably just gonna put them straight to bed. I'm kind of hoping I can end this gathering. Ugh, we need 11 more gathering points, club points. So I might just put Dove to bed anyway. Oh, well, it looks like she's gonna put herself to bed in the sense of unconsciousness on the floor in the corner, cool. I like that she's chosen the one area of the floor that doesn't have like a comfortable rug on it to, to face plant on, but 
you know, if that's a representation of her tiredness, then understandable. Anyway, once she is up, we are going to put her to bed and I am just really watching this club points total tick up so that I can send everybody home. I mean, it is working out for me because Rock is just like clearing up all of our mess. A lot of people seem to have violins from somewhere. I don't know what happened to the spectra since I left them. It just seems to have involved a lot of musical instruments and right, 254. We can add one more person. That person will, of course, be Edie. And we now have a full family club. Cool. Now get out of my house. Take your violins and go. I'm tired. Leave me alone. Okay, silence. Peace for maybe two to three game hours. Who knows? We'll see. While it was tempting to let Dove sleep in until work time, I have got her up early enough to do some childcare with Seven because we are working on that parenting skill and he has developed the gassy quirk, which honestly not super surprising given his parentage. Dove is the fartiest sim I have ever played. Um, I have also cracked out the old pack and play. We are gonna pop him on that while we have some breakfast in the hope he can at least do some grabbing and stuff. Um, I'm a little bit worried honestly about the kids skills. Paisley must be aging up any time now which is one of the reasons we were in a little bit of a rush to try and have a younger sibling and I don't really know where we're at with her skills. I could check that would probably be sensible. Paisley how you doing babes? Okay it looks like we have got oh one day left so that'll be tomorrow she is gonna age up to a child wild and we're still only level two on potty and thinking so we are going to need to work on that a little bit. Dove's going to be home from work at about two but her energy is just so low. Okay uh free time listen to music I can't see her being an arty interested person. We did get a performance game but promotion is going to be a while off but it doesn't matter because with our last promotion with selling the camera with a few other little bits and bobs we actually for the first time ever have enough money to pay our bills. We will not be losing power this week and I'm just quickly checking on the progress of neighbourhood actions. Foodies Unite. Yeah, whatever. Don't, I don't mind that one. Um, I just wanted to check power saving doesn't go through. Um, and I have a mod that turns off the everyone making white cakes, so that's fine. Right, bills are paid. We still have 2,000 simoleons. Time to look after our children a little bit. We're trying to get Sev through a few of his skills. Honestly, they're both so sad. Paisley's so sad too, and Dove is almost out of energy, so I'm just going to use some of her lifetime reward points to buy a moodlet solver and just fix her so that we can get some stuff done this evening, like playing with our child. This isn't actually the skill we should be working on, but it's cute and I don't care. Sev, could you, you please stop screaming, please? And we do also have one other unfinished piece of business that I would kind of like to get done. I feel like we need to come clean to Fia. We obviously are now just friends with Amethyst, but Fia doesn't know, or maybe she's heard through the grapevine, because we have been to work that. Oh, Fig. Fig, you always pick the worst moment. Fine, you had a good date. Good. Anyway, Fia doesn't know, or doesn't know from us anyway, that we are now a parent of two. So I feel like we should have her over and come clean, because... Yeah, I don't know how she's gonna react. I imagine not super well. I don't know if she ever knew that we were seeing someone else at the same time. Like we were never official with either of them, so it didn't really seem like a big issue, but I feel like Fia was always definitely more like romantically interested in us, whereas Amethyst was just kind of like, cool, you're fun. Anyway, um, first of all, we actually need to give Paisley a bath because she's stinky. Oh my God, the hits keep coming. Dove is burned out. She's experiencing burnout. Did Mac have this happen? I can't remember. Oof. Um, I wonder if there's some way we can take leave and still get paid because I don't want to lose money but I don't oh we can still take family leave let's do that if we take family leave I think we still get our salary right we just won't get promoted I think Dove would do that yeah if she's burned out we need that we need that time um okay so that is done and as soon as Paisley is out of the bath we are Fia should be here somewhere I'm hoping she there we go there we are she's here okay right Let's just bite the bullet, introduce her to Seven. Okay, hey babe, sort of babe. Um, I'm super tense and burned out and also here is my new child Seven that I had through the power of science. What do you think? Um, what went positively? I feel like maybe Fia's like, yeah, so who is this? Is it one of your nephews? And then Dove would be like, uh, no, he's mine. And Amethyst's Fia is backing away. To be fair, Seven is screaming at her and she isn't maybe a naturally maternal type. Yeah, she's like, I'm just gonna put this baby down right now and go hide in the kitchen. But Dove is not to be deterred. We are going over to talk to her. We are discussing commitment and relationships. Fia is feeling flirty. Dove has gone from tense to happy, which is good. 
Um, but again, Fia's just like, she doesn't want to be super close to us. She keeps putting like distance between us. And yeah, I mean, I just think for the good of everyone involved, I should probably call time on this. I don't know. I don't know. I hate this. I hate when Sims that people have made for me just don't work out the way I think they will. And then, yeah, like Morgan made this beautiful Sim and I was kind of hoping they would fall in love and then I would do like a tragic story later on. But as it is, I think Fia's just been like, yeah, you know what? We're in really different times of our lives and I'll always be here for you as a friend. And then she just left us to deal with our children and our burnout and our children and our burnout. But do you know what? That is totally fair. And this episode has gotten super long. Oh my God. Okay, right. Time to end it. Um, I'm insane. Dav is having burnout. Let me know in the comments what you think because yeah, I'm thinking maybe we need to move. I think maybe we need to leave Windenburg and start fresh somewhere. I'm thinking Mount Komorebi. I have an idea that involves skiing and snowboarding. Let me know what you think. Thank you so, so much for watching. We are going to go have an expensive bath because Dove deserves that. I deserve that, but it's way too hot in London. If you've made it this far, you're amazing. Thank you for watching. Love you. Bye.